okay so let's take a look at how you can use horizontal parallax background or you can also say in the background that continuously moves forward okay so we'll take a look at how you can implement that in gdevelop okay so if you haven't downloaded it make sure to go to gdevelop and download your IDE. next thing i'm going to use craft picks okay so craft picks is where you download 2d assets so it is going to log in for now let me go back to main page okay so basically if you want to download a particular game assets like backgrounds you can use this craft picks website okay so i'm using one of the free ones that you can use for the project okay so what i'm going to do is open gdevelop okay if you haven't created any project then use the existing one okay so let me open that okay i'm going to delete previously created scenes okay and open this one okay now here once your scene is opened you have to check for this objects and add new object now in add new object you will find sprite and tile sprite so when you're working with background that loads continuously make use of tile sprite. okay so this tile sprite select that okay now here let's name this background okay now here you have to select image or you can edit it with in-game editor okay so let's choose the image choose image with number whatever that you have downloaded from graphics so i have selected one of the image with this number okay so let me open that okay now it looks something like this keep the defaults as is and click on apply now what we have to do is we have to drag this on our scene okay and let me narrow it and see how it appears okay now let me expand this so that i can view right and so you can view as well right okay so let's expand this up to a certain point so let's see if we can zoom in like this okay so let's make sure that all these mushrooms are visible along with a little bit of bottom grass as well okay now what we have to do is we have to add some event to this particular background okay so click on that events tab now here we have to add action right so add new event add action select your background and here we have to check for image x offset okay so once we select that we have to choose modification sign okay so choose add because we want to move horizontally towards that x axis value now what value to add in we use 100 100 times time delta so time delta okay so once you select from the drop down menu that will be automatically completed okay now click on ok right now here you can see change the x offset to background and add 100 times delta now let's go back to our event here okay so if we run this you can see if it's working 
right so here you can see your background is moving in horizontal x-axis direction okay now you can see you can change the background depending on your game and you can move that towards that direction so you get the idea how to use horizontal parallax scroll in GW.